So the new Final Cut camera application has just came out, and I wanted to go and give a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular app. It's super cool, there's lots of cool stuff going on with it, so let's get started. You'll have to be on iOS 17.4 in order to use it, and I will tell you there's a lot of features put within this particular application. Now starting off with the very top, if we just go and take a look at the very top of this particular app, you can see there's a few things going on. One, we have this particular live multi-camera view in the top left. So this allows you to go ahead and use multi-live cam, you know, if you want to connect multiple cameras or whatever to this particular app, you can go and have it running here, which is actually very cool. For this case, we're not going to go into too much detail on it, but it's really cool. And this middle part allows you to actually quickly change the resolution and different file formats that you're using. So if you want to go and click on it, you can change it from, you know, that to Apple ProRes right within the app. You can go turn on HDR, just go to standard. You can go from 4K to 1080p to 720p. You can also change the frames per second that you're using as well, right up there as well, which is another very, very cool thing. Now on the top right, you have a quick little settings app as well. So this one just gives you a quick breakdown on exactly things you can use. So under preferences, you can change the Kodak, the format, the color dynamic range, and whether you want to mirror the front camera. Tools, you have a grid overlay and so many other things across the board here too. And under audio, this is the thing I like a lot. You can actually see the source of your audio right here, which is something that's cool. So if you have a you know, different microphone set up inside of your particular phone, you can go and see that stuff here, which is something I like. I love being able to just see that right here. It's very cool that you have that type of capability. In the top left, you see basically how much more storage or how many more hours of video you can film inside of this particular resolution. And you have your audio levels. So this is something that's really cool. I'm telling you right now, this is a very cool application in and of itself that you can just do all this stuff right built within this particular phone. At the very bottom, you have a few different things too. So in the middle, you have your standard, you know, filming resolution or the, your zoom in, zoom out that you can choose. So if you want to go 13 millimeters, 26 or 77, you can go and choose that here. And within those particular resolutions, although there's not like a zooming in, I mean, you can zoom in, zoom out this way. You can also just click on the plus button here. If you want to just zoom in just slightly, you can go and basically just grab this and go zoom in a little bit more here or zoom out. So you can just do that without having to go like this. So it's actually pretty cool. You can kind of modify it a little bit more. And then if you want to, you can click on this up a button right here to get access to a few more things. So here you can go and change your exposure and your white balance. So you can change your white balance from here to here. You can just choose whatever you want, way you want to. This button allows you to change your exposure. So you can modify that there too. And under autofocus, you can go and choose whether you want to either manually focus in on a subject or if you just want to autofocus and you can just click here and just click on an autofocus. Hopping out of here, you can also click on this camera, which allows you to choose your, you know, way you want to film. So if you want to turn your camera while you're recording, you can go and, you know, change that there too. Hopping out of here, the bottom left just gives you access to your photos and videos that you've taken in this particular period of your recording. This is the record button, and this button allows you to flip the camera back and forth. So that is at a high level basically how to use this particular application. It's really not anything super crazy. It's a very basic app, but that's kind of a quick breakdown of all the features. I'd recommend just going inside of this app, kind of getting used to kind of using it. It's a super, super cool app. There's lots of features within it, and that's basically how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.